I applaud the many women in Kenya who are at the forefront in leading sustainability initiatives across the country. They include women groups, such as a group in Masabit that is working with World Vision and the Kenya Forestry Service to promote regreening and reforestation initiatives. I also note a number of people who have also key executives, such as Rebecca Miano, a leader in the generation of renewable energy, as well as innovators, such as Nora Maguero, the founder and CEO of Drop Access, a youth-led social enterprise that develops practical and affordable energy solutions. Nora has developed the Vaxi Box, a portable solar-powered refrigerator that is easily mounted on a bicycle or motorbike to safely transport and store medical as well as food supplies. So to them, we give our congratulations as we encourage more of our women and girls to participate in climate change activities. So Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I would like to also recognize our women trailblazers who champion gender equality and the empowerment of women in the early years of our independence and after our independence. Their bold, tireless, and unheralded work paved the way and set the pace for the great progress we witness today on gender equality. I want to thank, through you, Margaret Kobia, not Margaret Kenyatta this time, <laughs> the Department for Gender, for organizing visits to these women and encouraging younger women to draw instructive lessons from these pace setters. We, as a country, advance when we learn from the past and use the lessons as a springboard to build a better future. In this spirit, today we shall be conferring awards to celebrate women and girls who have done exemplary work in their respective fields to promote gender equality and the empowerment of women. 